I mean, it's always had streaming, but new kind of streaming is coming to Twitch. I mean, different people are the same people, you know, streaming. Hello and welcome to the stream. Today's pre-stream chatter was my attempt to do a sort of a movie intro for coming soon to Twitch. Uh, but then I realized, of course, uh, everything in the world sucks, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so today there were several things we could do. We could go back to our um, question. Well, okay, yeah. Oh, wow, we're in the middle of several questions. One is, can we use Mathematica to do astronomy, which the answer is yes, uh, and show the guy how to do it. Uh, the other is, um, how do we compute Mars's Terminator accurately? Uh, and the one thing I want to do on that before we publish that answer is uh, to, instead of using spherical coordinates, which aren't accurate for ellipsoids, uh, use the planetographic coordinates that NASA suggests. Uh, and I would like to get, you know, per second accuracy to horizons are very close. We're pretty close already. It's within a few 40 seconds or so. But I'd like to see if I can get the, uh, you know, within a one or two seconds, or ideally to match, although it's possible that horizons uses new and as yet unreleased kernels. So we could, that would be actually literally impossible. Uh, what we also might be doing today, just because I am very easily distracted, I am involved in a uh, discussion, a debate, as it were, with, uh, with the gentleman about uh, global warming, which, as you know, I am a skeptic of. I don't know why I said, as you know. You, no one ever watches this, so there's no way you would know. I, I am a global warming skeptic, and there is someone on Stack Exchange who I've spoken about before, Polcott, who is very strongly a believer in, uh, in global warming. Um, and today, though, he's posted something that, that is actually pretty interesting. He, uh, instead of trying to prove all of global warming, which is difficult, he wants to sh uh, show that um, the increase in carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere uh, is due to is what, what's called anthro, what, which is called a word I can't pronounce, uh, anthropogenic. Okay. Um, and so someone actually downvoted his question, but I re-upvoted it and gave him a star because I think, well, didn't star just means that I'm keeping track of this question. Um, and so he wants to know, basically, you know, has the increase in CO2 been attributed uh, to an anthropogenic cause? In other words, have, have man done it? Now, of course, keep in mind that uh, as human beings, we breathe out carbon dioxide. Uh, we breathe in oxygen, we breathe out carbon dioxide. So yes, the 7.5 billion people living on Earth do generate carbon dioxide, but that's not what he means. He's talking about like, uh, coal and gas and other fossil fuels that when they burn generate carbon dioxide as a as a waste product um, So the two questions so the questions number one are do we know how much carbon dioxide we're creating through this? And that seems like we actually might know this we, we actually might know this uh, Through the CIA world fact book, you know, we don't know it exactly But you know we get a pretty good idea of how much coal is mined and burned and how much co2 it produces the question though is because we don't have a full CO2 budget for the Earth, we don't know how much of that actually goes into the atmosphere and stays there. I mean, plants suck it up. At night, they actually create carbon dioxide. Uh, you know, it settles as smoke, it gets cleaned up. Lots of stuff happens with the carbon dioxide in the world. So it's not clear that this extra carbon dioxide that we produce actually stays in the air, which is the question. Additionally, of course, other uh, bio, I was gonna say biogenetic work, other life, basically, also produces and reduces CO2. So it's, it's, it's a more complicated problem. Uh, so we're getting into sort of a debate that is getting nasty because that's, the facts don't really speak, but let's just see what he said now. So uh, if he said something, I'm almost sure he has. He is, um, he, he is very, very, um, very, very, um, tends to answer my questions. Even when I sort of point out, we're not gonna reach a, discu dis a discussion. We're not gonna reach an agreement uh, because, we, you know, both of us are looking for evidence. Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, the beauty of this is uh, how much do you actually when it's burned? Uh, how much should you... Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. And this is a good, this is a good point. Now, I think he's the one who... I, I don't have to tag him because I think... Well, I will tag him because uh, this is... I'm not sure if it's his answer, but I mean, it's... We, we'll get... He'll, we'll get to him. He's very, very uh, quick in answering. Okay, so what he's saying here is um, GHG, uh, which is, god damn it, people got to stop using, it means the number of amount of fuel that we burn as greenhouse gas, 
and greenhouse um, uh, GHS, which is greenhouse something else. Uh, whoa, that's I don't know what geo. Maybe do you mean GHS? How much did G I think he means CO two there? How much did CO two um, increase in the atmosphere? Um, let's just assume the twenty minutes. Okay. Um, so the, well, what's the problem with this? What you know, he's saying, hey, just Google search it, and you're good to go. And the, the issue here is we don't really have great measurements of how much carbon dioxide there is in the in the atmosphere. The most commonly given number uh, for carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is given from the Mauna Lao Observatory in Hawaii. And Mauna Lao is an active volcano, so you know if you're going to measure uh, what the average air on Earth looks like, a really good place to do it is where there's an active volcano. Other good places would include underwater or inside of lava. That's a little bit of sarcasm there, but obviously active volcanoes are a very poor location to measure the Earth's general CO2 concentration. Uh, now, when I mention this to other people, to global warming advocates, they point out that, well, there are other measurements that are made too, and the Mauna Lao is consistent with them. But they won't tell me what those other measurements are. It's like, we're going to give you the one measurement that is easiest to defeat because it's on a volcano, um, whereas the measurements we say that support it, that are made in more sort of random locations and are more uh, representative of the Earth, we're not going to tell you where that is. It's like, uh, it's, 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 it's very similar also to when they say, you know, the, uh, uh, the temperature, w which has been measured mostly in cities or near airports, has increased. And then when we say, well, you know, that could be because of the cities or airports. They say, well, the rural temperatures have also increased. And we're like, okay, great, where's that data? And then they run away. Uh, I mean, you know, maybe their de data does exist, but the problem is a lot of the data we have on temperature increase, because that's where people wanted to measure it, was near cities and at airports, because airports uh, just were sort of a natural place to measure it. And those are both uh, tainted by, uh, you know, people moving away from the country and moving to the city, and also by people, um, and also by people, uh, you know, in airports, as air traffic increases, obviously the amount of heat increases, uh, localized heat there. Now, technically, that is human-produced heat, uh, but you're measuring it at one point. We don't measure it as it spreads out, and, you know, we only measure it where it's the hottest, not, not the average temperature. Okay, so what are we going to answer this guy here? Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Hmm. Okay, and now we're going to be a little bit nasty. We're going to point out that we've had a discussion about this before. Um, okay, I think that as we've previously, as we've possibly, this is just, you know, previously discussed, I think that as we've uh, possibly previously discussed, uh, I haven't seen a really good measurement uh, of atmospheric carbon dioxide since the most frequently, comma, since the most frequently given uh, number, given measurement, is from Mauna Lao, an active volcano. And we actually have had this discussion before. I can't really, I don't know where it is. We could probably find it if we wanted to. Um, um, okay, now, this is where it's going to get really ugly. I think I could get dinged for this. Uh, uh, this this is this is bad. This might be considered advertising. I might get I might get dingled for this. Okay. Um, okay. So let's see. This might. Th I'm, this is. I'm going to bring up my own page, which is stupid. Oh, I'm shiny. Okay. So this might. I might get dinged for this. Um, I mean, I might have the comment deleted or edited, but worse. Uh, they might decide that, uh, really, because I oppose global, don't believe in global warming, I'm a skeptic, but technically they can say, well, you advertised your uh, stream here, and that's a, that's a really bad thing to do, and blah, 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 we'll delete you for that reason. So that's, I've kind of given them um, a weapon against me. Um, so I have dis uh, deb de debated Polkot before in, um, in uh, chat, uh, if he shows up here, I'm happy to put him onto Discord, or just you know let him type in chat while I uh, t type in, in where I, while I talk it out basically. So I'm not sure he's going to accept that. I'm sure he's going to see the challenge because he, he's he's very. 
I was going to say anal, but that's not the right word. He's very good about it. He's very into this. And so he's probably already read my message uh, just while I was talking about this. And the question is whether or not he's going to come in and live debate me uh, is, is what we're looking for, is looking at. Okay, so now in order to do something totally different, unless, unless he comes in and then we'll, we'll switch to that. Um, I, I earlier said I didn't like the COVID data because it looked very ugly to parse, and it does. But that also appears to be the best source of COVID data, so you kind of have to, you kind of have to say, well, maybe we have to, maybe we have to use it even if we don't really want to. Um, okay. And what would be really good is if I remember where the hell I put it. I could have sworn I, I pulled it using git pull. Um, I don't seem to see it here, though. Um, I might have pulled it one layer too low. I, whoa. Mm. Okay, now I'm getting the feeling I might have done this very, very wrong. Um, okay. Let me... All right, hang on. Let's just find where we have um, latest COVID data official source. And I think CDC actually links to the GitHub. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, the World Health Organization is a, is a reasonable crap. It's a, C it's a PDF. Um, that's also a PDF because it says so right there. That's a PDF. Um, ooh, now here's someone, a contra controversial opinion, um, okay, and, and this is actually correct, of course, because if someone dies of COVID before they knew what it was, they might have put it as a, a different kind of death, and of course not everyone's reporting deaths accurately, so this is this is more a question of uh, what I call mathematical pornography. We're going to look at numbers and we're going to do stuff to the numbers, um, but we really shouldn't assume it has any real-world value, uh, except maybe to debunk people who think it does have a real-world value, to show them that even if you believe this data is correct, which you're wrong about, um, if you're saying it's an exponential growth, it's not an exponential growth. Um, let's see if this is... Okay, uh, ooh, copyright policy. Um, epa, get, are we actually, are we going in circles here? Um, let's save this file. It's cool that it has no name, that, that should make it much easier, oh, okay, it does have a name. All right, now unfortunately that was sort of copyrighted, so I'm not sure I want to, I want to use that, but, uh, Europe sucks. Um, so that might be okay. Uh, let's see what this is. Oh. This is actually the kind of data I was looking for. Uh, except I was looking for U.S. data, so, um, <laughs> for a second I thought Alb meant Albuquerque, but it means Albania, of course, here. Um, but I was looking, of course, for the, um, for the New Mexico data because I live here. Cases on an... International con I think the one really good thing about the coronavirus is everyone's going to learn the phrase international conveyance, which is another word for cruise ship, or ship, actually. But let's, uh, let's ignore that ship. <laughs> See what I did there? Okay. Um, well, let's see. Coronavirus data... Let's look for from a... No, not date. I don't want to date the coronavirus. I mean, I don't think it would like me. All right. Here we go. So this is the cases... In, oh, this is cases in the U.S. God damn it. Seriously. Um... Okay. And again, I love this. I think I've mentioned this a billion times. Ooh, look, it's much more dangerous than California. Of course it's not much more dangerous than California. California has a higher population. You idiots should stop using maps in this way. Okay. Shiny graph. Um, okay, let's see if there's a word download. 
I think maybe that's what I looked for last time. Download. Um. Something tells me this is not also what I want, but let's just... This is a summary of the activity. Coronavirus data. Uh, this is the District of Columbia, which is where they keep Washington, D.C. Um, okay. God damn it. Everyone claims to have this data. I mean, Mathematica even claims that they have it. But getting to it seems to be a pain in the freaking ass. All right, let me just take a quick look here. Um, okay. I'm trying to see when I, d if I did it in, oh, there is a 2020-0403. That might be where it is. What the hell is this? Okay, I don't know what this is, but I'm scared of it, so I'm going to ignore it. Um, oh, there it is, COVID-19. Why didn't I see it earlier? Hang on. I need a DERS that should have... Sh oh. What? Hmm. Suspicious. Okay, here we go. All right, so now let's take a look at this data, and... Um, actually, I think this is Git data, so we can actually do Git pull. Let's get the latest data, because if we're going to F with things, let's F with the latest things. Um, I'm sort of cu curious to see if my um, I've gotten in trouble for my little... Uh, I probably have. Um, okay. Pomodoro time, as always, we skipped the first one. Um, but I will go next time. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Okay. Alrighty, let's see. Uh, uh, I could flag this comment, but let's see. Uh, let's be a little cheap shot, but not one that's going to get in us trouble. Um, I guess, oh, we can't quote the other guy because I've quoted this guy. Now we're going to do this a little bit cleverly here. If you're not willing to discuss the issue with skeptics, we're not going to get anywhere. And that's actually true, actually. If you're going to just say, we're scientists, we say it's right, screw you. Uh, that's sort of like gospel. It's like what the religious religious people used to do in uh, in ancient times, or by ancient times I mean as recently as the 1960s. Uh, it's say we're you know the Bible says it; it's got to be true. Uh, and now science says it; it's got to be true. First of all, science only gives us theories that are consistent with observations. They're not always right; they could be proven wrong later on. So clearly, that's already wrong. And then, of course. We don't have any evidence, but we're going to call this science, so you better believe it. And that's that's kind of the um, the issue. Okay, so clearly I am very easily distracted, but I told you that. So, uh, so th okay, good. So now we have some more reports here. Uh, let's see, our CSSS. I think the situation report is not what we're looking for. It is not. It is more the sort of PDFs that they put. So the actual raw data is right here. Um, and I'm always curious to looking at the thing that I don't... I'm sure what I want is the daily reports. But let's look at the time series, because we are... Ooh. Confirmed, kind of recovered, blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and look at the daily reports, because that I'm pretty sure that's actually what we want here. Um, and yes, I'm a COVID denier, in the sense that I don't think the COVID virus is as serious as people are saying. But let's take a look. Okay, so it looks like these are not summaries. Um... And it also looks like um, the reports are obviously grouped together. They're, it's not like a bunch of people died at the exact same instant of time. Um, so this is the data I think that we're going to um, we're going to parse. And I get the feeling we do enough data parsing. There should be like a generic 
Oh, actually, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There might be. Um, okay, so what are we looking for here? Um, keep looking for the word time series. Okay. Is this like every, is this just like the combination of those? Oh. And I don't think New Mexico will be here. Okay. 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 Um, so this actually might not be that hard to get that data out of this. Um, have I been a fool? Uh, maybe. Um, uh, confirmed, uh, confirmed U.S., let's say. So this is the number of infections. So, oh, there it is. Out of... So, um, I have no idea what this means, but clearly there have been zero infections outside of New Mexico, which is great, because that means we're the only ones infected. But of course, that's just bad data. All right. Let's see if we can find the correct data. What the hell? Okay. Mm, either a lot of people are doing okay here. Oh, shit. This is again by... So this is actually worse because it's by um, it's by city, and if we're going to do that, we might as well just look at you know all the data instead of looking at data, data. data. We might as well do our own um, separation of data here. Okay, um, or we might as well just keep talking in circles forever. So daily reports, and I guess I would eventually I want all of these put sort of pushed together. Um, but for the moment, let's just see if we can, uh, we can just use numeric, and we will use, okay, so I guess, uh, they get changed at weird times, so let's just sort them in the order that, there we are. So let's just use numeric. Did I get numeric installed on here, or did I not get numeric on, installed on here? Apparently I did not. Got something installed. Uh, we could all open this in Libre, Libre Calc. LibreOffice, um, which already I'm thinking it's a bad idea, but let's take a look. Um, now let's go ahead and discard that. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Uh, that looks okay to me. Let's see. Uh, data with header. I didn't actually look at that. I was just going to sort of go with it. Okay, so what this data gives us is, okay, it's not bad. Um, they don't give us the state abbreviations, which we might be able to get. Combined key, okay. Why, oh why, do we only use... They use postal abbreviations, I guess, as sort of a, um, when they want, at random, just to confuse us. But, um, so, uh, admin 2 is going to be the county, by the way, in case you're wondering. Uh, so we have this, we have this, and we have, um, I guess this is death by death. Oh, no, no, this is the, um, okay, so total number of confirmed and deaths. So what we're looking for in here would be the portion um, where this number would be, well, this, this column would be New Mexico, and we actually want it for all of the, uh, all of the um, CSV files combined. And then we would have the, uh, well, you know, per day, obviously. And then we'd have the numbers. And then we could get what we wanted, which is the um, total number of New Mexico cases over time. Which you would think would be a nice, easy number to get. Um, but apparently, uh, I mean, even Worldometers doesn't actually have this data that way. They have it, every time we load, there's more, oh, wow. 1.5 million cases, but still fewer than 100,000 deaths. Um, da -da 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 -da. And I think actually, even if you go to USA, this is going to just tell you new series. It's not going to give you the whole time series data, which is what we want. So, shall we create yet another parsing program? And if so, where do we have? We don't have a COVID-19. Oh, you know what? We need a COVID-19 directory. 
Um, make X, make directory. There we go. And let me make sure it's the right readme. There we go. Um, and now let me be actually nice and and source my data. Um, and I think I don't know why I'm saying this, but I think GitHub actually will tell you the um, the remotes for this data. Um, or or it won't. I mean, you know, whatever. Uh, it should be able to tell you where I got this data. And when I say that, um, oh, maybe README will have it actually. I mean, it should actually know it by itself. But let's see. Uh, um, let me get do a grep gra for GitHub. This would be awesome if it doesn't tell us where. Oh, here we go. Uh, website relies on public. Do not agree. John Hopkins University here Dubai disclaims all the blah blah blah. That doesn't help. And I'm going to do a grep GitHub star, which is always a bad idea. Now I'll do it, and this is even a worse idea. And there we are. That's what I'm looking for. Um, okay. BC parse COVID. And it's version one, so I'm not going to put it. I'm not going to say 19. That'd be very confusing. Okay, bin Perl. Require my library as always. Um, learn how to spell. Nope, can't do that. And and then we'll just glob all this data here because we're. And interestingly enough, we don't even need to know the name of the file because we are. Um, because the the, na the the data is actually also inside uh, the uh, the is inside the uh, the data itself, so that's kind of nice. So let's see where we are here. Star.csv that should work. Um, And just to make sure we we always do this because it slows down the programming and makes it less efficient. But I pretend we do it just to make sure everything's working. But that's not the real reason. Uh, so now you know. Okay, rehash BC parse COVID. Okay, that's not cool. Oh, because it's not in my freaking path. That's okay. We can always do this. Okay, good deal. So now... Um, God, I'm so tempted to just put this into one big... Into one big, like, wild loop where you just put in data that you want. You know what? Let's do that. Should be run with list of files such as. Isn't that clever? Sort of actually, you can just we're basically letting them do what they want. We we're letting them do whatever they want, and we're just going to interpret the data like this. Am I doing? I sense I'm doing something wrong here, but like I'm missing something in this file. Well, let's find out. Now this should do nothing. This should do like a lot of nothing apparently. Okay, good deal. And then, oh, is this going to be one of those things where the um, first line of each file is going to be the header? Yeah. And also have some characters in it that no one understands? Okay, let's copy that. And yes, I am talking with a funny accent for no good reason. Fields. Okay. Um, also, it's always a good idea to put uh, slashes or if you're British, strokes in your um, fields because that makes it more confusing. So it's going to be um, my. What do I want to. I'm going to call it admin1. Do I care? 
there's an actual there's a generic name for this and it's like admin one country code last update cases deaths rec um split on i guess it's going to be on a comma actually it will be more clever and use csv just in case someone's done something weird there uh, and then we're going to call this ADM because 81 looks too much like ADL. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what we do want to do here is uh, we do want to get rid of the header lines. Um, and apparently they've decided to make my life really bad by, well, actually, I think we can get away with this. Um, actually, let's see. I think... If we are careful, sorry about that, bumping the mic there. I think if we're careful, we could look at a field that should be numeric, and if it's not, we can ignore it. Uh, and cases would be the largest of these three fields. So let's take a quick look here. Oh, wow, you can actually have zero in that field. But the word confirmed, definitely not. Um, so, uh, let's do, well, it's going to be a hard string, so. Okay, so now we have cases, or we can just debug the whole line. Now we're one step closer to our goal, um, if we had a goal, which we do not. Um, oops. Okay, so this is looking a little bit... Ah. Yes, this is totally unnecessary, but it annoys me. Because I don't like the main line, and the new line. Oh, shit. Okay, fine. Do that. There we go. Okay. So the latest update we probably don't care about. Ugh, how ugly is this data? Uh, I mean, mainland China. God, couldn't they have used freaking abbreviate? All right, all right, all right, I'll stop whining. Um, okay. All right, that's not too bad. Ah, I knew they were going to F this up. So why are we getting... So this is good until a point. Okay. So now we got to figure out if New Mexico means all of New Mexico. Um, or just means... I mean, this is the whole line, so I don't really know how to interpret this. Uh, well, let's do... Let's let's temporarily just just for testing. Um, only look at the lines that have New Mexico and see if they match um, the totals. Or I mean, at least if they look reasonable. Um, that's not looking too reasonable to me. Um, Oh, I, have, okay, I might have actually gotten in one thing that I did, didn't need, which is, um, hang on. Uh, I somewhere, somehow got in a CSV file that is, uh, that is a list of locations, I guess, because uh, that's latitude and longitude there. But wh how did I get that? Okay. Okay. Let's sort this list and see what the hell's going on. Usually it'll show up at the top of the... Okay. So where are we getting things like minus 106? Why am I so beautiful? Okay. I keep forgetting when you do uh, f grep to a negative sign, you have to like this. So let's see where this is showing up. So the question is, are we combining things here in this report? Are we looking at two different formats here? What's going on? Latitude, longitude. Okay, that's... That's groovy. Um, okay, that, that shouldn't hurt us any. Okay. 
So apparently, whatever the hell this is, uh, these numbers, uh, maybe they didn't break it down by city. So now we have to kind of do this. <sighs> Wait a minute. Well, the country code's not going to be New Mexico. Let's see what the hell's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, maybe we have to use the field that is the um, the official field-like thing. All right. Um, I, let me try this. Let's try or admin equals new nm. Let's see if they've... This is not great. Okay. Um, I'm confused. So let's do this. Let's actually, um, let's look at the field that is, uh, oh, hang on. Okay, so there's something wrong here, because at one point I remember we had sort of this field that said, uh, for grouping purposes, use this, uh, use this data. So let's go ahead and, um, I can't believe they're, they're this inconsistent. So let me see what we're doing here. Recovered active combined key. Okay, oh, so it's more, oh. Hmm. You're not telling me th this data is in a different format. Okay. Well, maybe you are. So then, in that case, we actually have to read the, uh, the header file each time to see what data we're getting. So it's, it's not consistent. So let's just confirm this. Pomodoro time, back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back. And we're still almost back. I'm going to go ahead and push this to Git because I get the feeling I might have to rewrite it, so the bad version has to be in Git. That's how I roll, man. Okay. Um, okay. Now let's take a look here. <coughs> Coughed into my hand. You're not going to die. Well, I mean, you might die, but not for me. I mean, you might die from me. Just let's stop doing that. Okay. All right. We have another answer from our good friend Polcott. Um, um, okay. Ugh. Now, at some point, you're going to have to start flagging your messages here, cowboy. Uh, I'm not hired. Um, but if you believe... Your question can be answered with simple Googling. Why not Google it? Your, don't Google yourself. Google it yourself and self-answer.
Um, God, this guy. It's like it, he's he, you know he's 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 oh here we go. Um. Wow. This is a very interesting uh, reason. I downvoted it because it starts a pointless argument over the obvious and only helps to dial. Wow. Um, uh, um, this is not an answer, actually, uh, because it only answers half the question. It only says, let, let's put that down here. Um, and so the, the, I actually pointed out that this is a half of an answer because it gives you half of what we need, but not the whole thing. Okay, so now I get distracted easily. Let's go back to this. Okay, and let's take a look at the fields for a different day, although if they're putting different fields in each file, I mean, that is, that is like, get the coronavirus bad. I didn't really mean that. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. So they're using different, um, they're using different header fields for each day. That is, some, some, some genius came up with that. Um... So this is maybe one reason not to use this exact data. Let's see if we can uh, use some other data instead. Uh, okay. Okay, so now... So they should mark this as... Is there a readme in here? Wow, the readme is empty. Now I'm sort of... I'm not going to do this, but I'm sort of tempted... Um, to put in a readme that points out, can I do this? Am I? How much magical pushing power do I have? I mean, it'll show up as a request, but um, let's see. Let's see how many different uh, headers we actually have here. Th these are just the okay. Um. By the way, that, that that was a whistle. Wow, this is really sloppy data. Um, who the hell's compiling this? Uh, I want to complain, well, actually, or quote unquote complain through updating the README file, and then pushing my my data. Um, And theory, I could go on to GitHub and change it, and that should do it automatically. Am I that much of an a-hole? Probably, eh, maybe. Let's see. Uh, well, the, okay, hang on. They might have actually said in the README. Um, okay, country, region, last update, confirmed. Um, deaths. Update frequency, data sources, um, description yawn, so misspelling, but that's okay. Update frequency, data modification. Okay, that doesn't actually help us any. Um, they don't really point this out, but, um, they do have different fields for each. Maybe this will tell me something. Uh, god damn it. Not really. Okay. Let's see if there's something up higher here that I missed. Situation report, archive data, no, okay. Alright, let's look at the time series data. Uh, which I was hoping, because this is ugly. Um, oh, and nice, the nice thing to do here, by the way, is that they, uh, let me make sure they're doing this. Um, oh, no, they are doing, they are allowing for an admin to, okay, so... Truly, truly insane here. Um, I 
I guess we can use this. I assume these days are in order. Um, okay. So what we need to do is read this file, um, combine the data for New Mexico, I think, because I don't know if this New Mexico line here, so that's Bernalillo, Catron, Chavez County. Oh, these are counties. Okay. I'm actually okay with that. Okay. Okay. That's actually not too bad. I thought they were cities or something. I'd be like, that would be ridiculous. And then, of course, the famous out of NM County, unassigned. Okay, that might be that might be tolerable. Okay, um, I'm gonna, gonna push this to Git again. We're gonna totally change it now um, to read a totally different file. And in this case, I get the feeling that because we're just going to do one file, we don't have to do this while while loop shit. Uh, let's just get a real path to the sucker. And I know we need it for all three of them. This is just the uh, confirmed U.S. cases. But we are going to do this one first. Uh, my, we'll call it confirmed. Or we'll abbreviate. Okay. And I think we can actually do this. Um, this is a CSV file with headers, uh, is what this is. So it might be possible. Well, let's take one step further out here. Um, losing my mind. Okay, uh, there is a way I have to convert CSV to. Oh, come on. Array with headers, I think. Oh yeah, here's how we do it. So we get an array with headers, uh, and then we convert it to a list of hashes. So this is actually very close to an array with headers. If we just do this, we actually have an array with headers. And I get the feeling, I, th I don't think I can pass a reference to this. Um, so I think I actually do need to create it as a, as a uh, as an array and then pass the reference of the array. Actually, I'm pretty sure I could do that, but um, now I kind of want to, but I'm going to not do that just right now. So we don't need any arguments here. Um, yeah, that looks fine. Okay. So now, this is still only the confirmed cases. Array with headers to hash list. This is actually going to be mm, conf hashes? Let's just be confusing and say confs. And I don't think we want any options, so um, if this works, I am going to try it with the um, other way of doing this. Array to headers. Wait, wait. No, not array to headers. Array with headers. I wish I could type. Okay. So this does. Ah. Array with headers. Hash conf. Alrighty. That's not what I expected. But let's find out. Okay. Um, this does not appear to be what I had in mind, is this is something's wrong. Okay. All right. Screwed something up here. Um, array with headers to hash list. Um, so conf should be... Let's make sure it's an actual array, which means this should be an array ref. Okay, that's fine. Uh, confs, and I think maybe this is uh, actually a reference to a hash list that it gives back. Um, I, I can actually read the code if I want to, but I'm not going to. I just want to see what this does. Okay, so confs is actually a reference to an array. Um, so if I wanted to get the array, I would do this. Let's take a quick look here. 
Um, yeah, that, that looks pretty good. So, list of hashes. Okay. Um, so now the question, of course, is... Uh, no, we're fine. We're just not going to go any... All right, so now... Oh, actually, I think I can do this. Okay. Um, and then we can loop through. Then we can do what we actually want to do. Uh, let's see. Not an array ref. Not cool. Um, I'm obviously doing something wrong here. Okay. Uh, this is an array ref. Or I could just screw up the whole program. My conf equals array to header list conf. That should be okay. Nope, that shouldn't be okay though. Okay. Um. Now this is going to be, if this doesn't work, it'll be weird. Oh, actually, I think I know what might be wrong with this. If this doesn't work, I know what's wrong. Um, okay, I think maybe I could just have done dollar sign. Um, um, I d I'm not sure if I need the brackets there, but apparently it doesn't matter. Now each of these suckers should be a hash, and... Good. And now here is where we get the uh, interesting part. Um, because the days are all kind of stacked together here. So... Alrighty. Comps and... This is... A hash. Um... So this will give us all the keys of the hash, which in this case is actually interesting because um, the keys are actually the date values. So and that's not good at all. Um, for i equals confs, keys, confs. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. We're already in. We already have the, uh, the, the thing that we want. Okay. So dollar sign i is already the element of the array, and we want to take the hash that is dollar sign i. I'm losing my freaking mind. And then we have a hash, and then j is going to be uh, dollar sign i of dollar sign j. I think that's what we want. Oop. Um, actually, I think maybe we just want this. Uh, well, raw array is definitely one of the keys of this, that, which is fine. Um, but it should be, there should be more than just one. There should be a whole bunch of them. Do I mean this, maybe? I get the feeling I'm doing something more fundamental, okay. More fundamentally wrong here, but okay, let's just... As always in debugging, let's go back a step. Debug... Um, so this should be the, the hash that is dollar sign i. Oh, hello. That did not do what I expected it to do. Am I using the wrong separator character? Do I, did I, what the hell was that? Um, um, Is this not comma? It's got to be comma separated values. Oh, shit. No, it's an array of arrays. Hang on. Oh, an array of arrays. Okay, so I'm giving it the wrong thing to begin with. So this is... This gives me one array. Now, it, for each array... Um, so conf... Uh, so it's a list of arrays... And it yields an array. And 
and so oh this is ugly I'm pretty sure this isn't even going to work uh, let's see if it does we're going to have an array of arrays which is what we want And this, again, might be one of those um, cases where it would have been easier just to do this ourselves than try to use one of my functions. I don't know what ADE it is, but it sounds pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, can I make it a reference to itself? It's probably not what I want. Okay. Okay, let's see what dollar sign con five is. Okay. Now let's see what is. Okay, it's an array. And now So, oh, let me try it with just one, one thing here. Okay, so now if I say dollar sign conf five equals CSV dollar sign conf five, I don't think that's going to do what I want. I get the feeling this is the wrong thing to do. And but we'll debug it after and before. So now we'll just say dollar sign conf five. What have you become? What have you become, man? Okay, Pomodoro time back in two and two, and I really need it this time. And we are almost back. And we're back, and I need to check a couple of things. I've been streaming for less than an hour, but I am getting a little bit hypoglycemic. So when I am ready to die, um, I will try to get off the stream or die on stream. Either one's fine. All right, let's see what this does. Okay, not helpful. Uh, this is actually not the right way to do things, but it, it'll, it'll work. Oh! That did not work at all. Okay, um... So apparently what this does is it turns it to 88, which is not what we want. So conv equals... this thing. This should turn it into an array ref. It better doesn't. Um, 
Will this turn into an array ref? And again, I realized I could very easily just do this correctly by using more steps. Okay, now this is it's a reference to a scalar with CSV. Oh, because CSV returns like an improper list. Uh, it returns just a bunch of values. So what we really need here is this, 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 this should do what I want. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this is also how to write completely incomprehensible code. This video should serve as the comments for this code. Uh, equals da, da, CSV of da, da. And yep, more time trying to use my function than I would have saved and I would have used up giving. Oh. Yeah. Ta-da! And now, I'm not going to try to push that all into one statement, but now we can say my hash list equals array with headers to hash list of conf. My hash list should now be a list of hashes the way God intended. Let's find out. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, because it's actually going to be a reference which is actually the correct way to do things, so that's actually okay. Okay. This is getting needlessly tedious. Yay, it's a list of hashes the way I wanted it to be. Okay. So now we can go through the list of hashes and um, And so now each one is going to be a hash. Da da da. So this should be. This should give us i is a, each i is a hash. Good, 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 good. And then let's look at the keys here. Like I said, are going to be important because they do represent uh, days. Debug i, which is actually a hash. So it doesn't really. It's not really very useful. Uh, and the val will be. No, hang on. Dollar sign i dollar sign j. Okay, and if that works, we're in pretty good shape. Did not work. Um, yeah, so apparently I sent this thing at um. A list of array refs. So the question is after this, um, what has conf become? I thought dollar sign conf four, for example, would be um, an array. Okay, that's fine. So dollar sign conf four, four should be an element, which it is not. Um, Okay, let's see what, is this like? Okay, so maybe I nested it one level too deep. Let's see what that looks like. Oh. Okay. Breathe in, breathe out. All right. Um, I'm, I could. I mean, we can redo this as the correct way of doing it, which is we read the first line, get the uh, get the fields, which are dates, and continue there. Um, I feel bad about this, but not bad enough to not do it. I am going to end the stream. I'm getting a little bit hypoglycemic. 
Um, although I don't think I am. I think I just think I'm getting a little bit hypoglycemic. But I need to check. So thank you for watching the stream. I will try to stream later today, but cannot promise anything. Thank you for watching.